Hi guys, today I am filming whilst cooking because I don't have a lot of time and I really do want to make sure I get videos up every Friday as promised. If I don't upload regularly enough, you're just going to get bored and probably unsubscribe. I really want to make sure that I dedicate one day to getting some filming done or 10 minutes or whatever. In my last little short video, it was a rushed one because the days had just flown by and I was like, oh my God, it's Friday, I haven't made a video. So I quickly did an update where I spoke about the dieting pills that I'm on and also about coping strategies that I have been using that have really helped me in the last sort of month or so. One big issue for me is anger and frustration. I can get angry quite quickly. It happens with both of my moods, you know, if I manage. of my anger building up and frustration building up because it's something that doesn't do you any good. All it does is disturb your inner peace, makes you feel really, really rotten and it's just, it doesn't serve you. I have been trying to really be aware of how I'm feeling, especially in certain situations, heightening my senses of my own self and trying to prevent things from happening. So I guess that's one of my first strategies is that I've been becoming very, very aware of how I'm feeling, making a little mental note as to how I am feeling. Next thing is breathing techniques. I find that when I go out to drive in my car, I can become very anxious. I'm not always, I'm aware of that. Somebody will do something on the road that will really bug me and that inner anger or frustration then comes out and I can be, you know, swearing at that person or saying something negative about that person because they've bugged me. So one thing I try and do is try to take everything in my stride. If I'm in the car, I am not thinking about anything. I try and clear my mind. All I'm focused on is where I'm going. I just try to relax myself in my driver's seat because quite often I'll find myself, I'm all tense driving. And I just try and focus on relaxing myself, breathing normally, and that has really helped. It makes my anxiety go down just helps me not be so uptight. Next coping strategy is trying to see the bigger picture instead of seeing everything through my tunnel vision. This can be really difficult. It has been testing me in the last month, but I am really getting this strategy down to a T. A lot of situations you can be in and something will really bug the shit out of you and you can just get so angry. I've had it happen in so many different situations, it's hard to really give an example. I guess the example I'll do is driving because there, there are so many like idiots on the road and you're going to cross one of them at some point. For example, I could be driving along and someone might pull out in front of me and cause me to break suddenly. Now normally I would probably say some along the lines of oh you fucking idiot didn't see me like, you shouldn't be on the road you can't drive a car and things like that it's all just negative things that i would be saying and you want to eliminate the negativity out of your life because it really doesn't serve you and the more negativity you're putting out you're just going to get it back my new strategy is trying to see the bigger picture so in my mind i'm thinking all those things you, know, you idiot you pulled out in front of me and then i'm like trying to calm that voice down i think well do you know what it could have been worse perhaps he didn't see me perhaps he was having a bad day perhaps he's been held up with traffic and he just wanted to get out quickly and i just sort of try and see the bigger picture and think that perhaps yes he might have been in the wrong but you got to give people a chance to make mistakes and we all make mistakes. It's just human nature. I just try to control that anger 
with seeing the bigger picture and I have been using that a lot recently with certain things you know even just something little like you might text a friend and they don't text back or they reply short or something like that and you think oh what's up with them like what's their problem but it might just be the fact they either didn't see your text message or they were busy or something was happening in their life that you didn't know about I think trying to see the bigger picture can make you feel a lot more of a calmer person because you're a bit more forgiving and not so judgmental and I think it's so easy to be judgmental. I don't want to be judgmental, I'm trying to challenge myself to be something different. It's so easy to get angry and, and aggressive at people but I don't want to be because I want to be a happier person, more peaceful person and also your inner peace is so important and you shouldn't let anybody disturb that inner peace. If somebody's going to be aggressive towards you, just put your barrier up just block them out and be like, okay, whatever, I'm not going to let you affect me, I'm going to stay calm. And I think if you do that, you put that out into the world and you get a lot of good back. And that's what I've been noticing in this past month. I feel almost like a different person. And this is because I've been using these strategies and I've been really wanting to change and be a better person and not get so angry because when I get angry everything goes wrong and it just ruins my whole day and instead I've changed that and I've had such good days and my relationships with people are so much better it just everything seems to go more smoothly and I'm attracting so much more positivity in my life this is what this uh, video is about really, is about your inner peace and using your coping strategies to really test you and you know if you want to change then you really will also this this video is about controlling your triggers now i can't really give too much like advice on this because everybody's triggers are so different what triggers me might trigger somebody else or it might not having bipolar you do have a lot of triggers you have triggers that um may make you go into a, a manic state you may have triggers that make you feel depressed it's all about trying to control them and being aware of what your triggers are. Only you will know what your triggers are. And I think it's kind of wise to write a list, either write a mental note or write it down on paper what your uh, triggers are and how you can do things to prevent them. Being aware of how you're feeling um, and really um, you know, tapping in to your mood and knowing where you are on your scale um, will really help you to control your triggers as well. And that's what I've been trying to do. And I've been a lot happier person since trying to do that. And I have been getting my life back. I am on the road to recovery and I'm very, very lucky. I do feel very blessed to be at the stage I am. And the fact that I can actually live a lot of my life it may not be like a normal life compared to normal people um you know i do require a lot of help with a lot of things but i get on and i do it i'm a trier and every day i think is a new day you know there's always time to change things around having a mental illness is not about living your life and suffering the whole way through it's about living your life getting it back and actually beating it. You're always gonna have that mental illness, it's gonna be part of you, it's, it's who you are, but you don't wanna let it ruin your life. It does take a long time to get to a point where you feel you can actually be in control and you can actually manage it. And I know that I'm only at this stage because I do take medication and I'm very stable on that medication. Without it, I probably would be back to how I used to be. You know, it does take a long time. It takes years. It's not something that's just going to change overnight. But I wanted to do this video just to briefly touch on triggers and, you know, just trying to control things. And when you feel in control, it makes you feel a little bit better about everything, I think. Another thing as well to remember is do things that make you feel good. 
only do those things. I know sometimes you can't help but having to do certain things that you don't like, you know, just adult jobs or chores, or if you're at school, like you may hate school, but you have to go. They, I guess they can be helped. You, you still have to do them, but there's things that can help you get through them and help you do them. You get to a certain age where you don't have to do certain things. Only do what makes you feel good. And if it doesn't make you feel good, then don't do it. I have learned this lesson so many times and everybody has a choice in life. If you are doing a job that you absolutely hate, then there's always an opportunity to get a different job and do something that you really, really love. It's so easy to get stuck into a hole and feel trapped, but you're not trapped. You're free to do whatever you want. And if somebody's making you feel trapped, then that is like really bad because you, if you're with a partner, or you're married, or you've got girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, they should always be really supportive of you. And I've always been a strong believer in that you should be able to do whatever you want to do and people should support you. You're born into this world alone and you leave this world alone and you have this journey on your own, like the journey you're living in your life you're living is your own. It doesn't belong to somebody else, it belongs to you. So do things that make you happy and that serve your soul, like do things you wanna do. And if somebody says, no, you can't do it, and prove them wrong and be like actually I can do it and I can do it because I want to do it and I will do it and it's about having that inner strength to get you out of dark times and to always I always think aim high like have dreams and expectations because you can make dreams come true I have manifested so many things in my life that a lot of people thought weren't possible and I've actually done it. Even this house that I'm living in now, it was so impossible really for me to have gotten it with my situation and the fact that I have an animal and I was so focused on what I wanted and I was so focused that I wanted to live in this house that I got it and I had special permission for my dog and I was able to live here and I am so grateful always be grateful for what you have because there's so many people that don't have anything or have a lot less than you have gratitude and always aim high and know that your dreams can become a reality i am going to leave this video at that i hope that i can inspire some people i always think be inspired and inspire others so nice to hear um, and read comments from you because it just feels real and um, yeah if you want to reach out please leave a comment I'll always reply and um, yeah I hope you're doing well and that this video could have brought a smile to your face um, or made you feel a bit happier than you might have been and yeah guys I'll see you very soon bye